showing two different paintings and um, they're very obviously very opposite they're very different and um, so the one here on my left or right whichever angle you're looking from doesn't matter <laughs> is uh, my abstract work and my abstract work is found in most of the galleries that I uh, have my work in. Um, one of them is in Sarasota, Florida. Another one is in Palm Desert, California. Um, I've been, uh, another one's uh, in New Jersey. And there's also one on Cape Cod. So I've also um, been in many other galleries across the nation, including uh, Santa Fe, New Mexico, and in Colorado, in Denver, uh, up in Wyoming, um, in LA, in Santa Monica, um, Texas, in Houston. Um, the gallery world is a fluctuating world, and um, you know it's just moving and changing all the time. Of course, the economic situation plays a huge part in all of that and some are just not able to stay open. So, you know, I've been in, in many wonderful galleries across the United States and in Europe uh, that have had to close because of, you know, the economic situation first in uh, after, just after 2008 and um, or uh, many quit, many sold, many just gave up. So what's an artist to do? We just have to keep going and, you know, try to find new avenues of where to show our work. Um, La Jolla, Laguna have also been on my roster and um, also Chicago and the Chicago area. So uh, right now I'm about down to just a handful of galleries um, and they're very good, very lovely people. Uh, including uh, one in Cortona, Italy, where uh, they're just having, you know, a really bad time right now, and I really feel for my Italian friends over there. So the other art that I do is the abstract motorsport art. And um, I have one on the board right now. It is a uh, special commission. And I was lucky to be able to land this during this time. Um, I enjoy doing the motorsport art too. I have a history in motorsport, 
No, I wasn't a racer, but um, way back in the day, uh, I had a friend that was racing Formula 3 and then 2 and wanted to make it into the Formula 1. But money was an issue and um, he was just not uh, able to get the funding and the backing, so he gave that up. And, uh, but during his time in the Formula 3, Formula 2, uh, he had asked me to paint or draw some um, works of art for his sponsors as gifts. So with the motorsport art, I have been incredibly blessed to be able to uh, paint live um, at uh, Formula One. In Austin, and I am also signed up to do uh, the same uh, at the Canadian Grand Prix this year. However, as everybody knows, all the events have been canceled or postponed. And um, I'm just hoping that um, something will take place in the race world this year. I don't know if Canada will take place or not, but we shall see. Uh, and if so, I'm excited. And if not, okay, I get it, I understand. Um, along with all the other fans of the racing world, you know, I feel for you. Um, we've all had to stop and think and uh, reminisce and look at old runs of Formula One races, which I've been enjoying with my husband. So that's been kind of fun and interesting because, you know, it's it was a whole different world back then, uh, 10 years ago or 15 years ago when, when uh, Formula One was racing. Different cars, different drivers, the, the drivers that we look upon today as uh, absolute icons and to see them so young and um, <laughs> just um, just young guns in, in the cars uh, is, is actually quite refreshing. So this time is kind of a good time to just press the pause button and just, you know, look at things around you and just see, you know, hey, what did we used to do? Hey, how was it back then? You know, where are we today? What are we doing now? Just, you know, think a little bit, reminisce a little bit, contemplate a little bit. And that's kind of how I started out with the uh, motorsport theme in my artist career. One more thing. So my husband and I had a very wonderful trip planned to Boston in May to see the Museum of Fine Art of Boston with the lovely Monet exhibition where this is almost like a once in a lifetime thing of where they show about 40 pieces of, you know, Monet's art uh, with just about everything anybody ever knew or saw about Monet. I was just so excited to go. Of course, all that's been postponed or canceled or something, I have to check and see. But anyways, what I thought I would do for you is take you on a little tour in another video on how my art correlates to the masters because I'm a huge fan of the Impressionist masters and I thought I would take you on a little guided tour of how I think my art you know, was inspired by this piece or that piece or just my general thoughts to the art we all know and love. And I thought I'd show it from an artist's perspective, uh, which you probably almost never hear. You get a tour guide in the museum, you get a tour guide with your headphones But I'm gonna give my own thoughts to each of the pieces that I will feature in one of my next videos, so keep an eye out for that. Well, I don't wanna to pack too much into this video right here. Um, I will show you a few more things and 
um, we'll just kind of wrap this up for now. Um, I wish everybody the best out there and stay safe, stay sane, and look to the arts a little bit because we're here for you to entertain you with what we do. And you can find my art on Instagram, on Facebook, and um, I will put uh, the things below in the description. And you can go to my website, www.anitalewis.com or www.abstractmotorsportart.com. There you can find my work as well. Thank you so much. So here we are in my booth today at the Art San Diego and I met someone that uh, is looking at my art and he said a few nice things and uh, here we go. Hi, uh, my name is Dominic. Um, I'm actually from the LA area. I'm an artist as well and I'm also a pharmacy technician. And uh, I was very impressed by this work right here. This is um, probably one of my favorites so far. Uh, I love the colors and uh, it just gives me that raw emotional feeling of uh, it takes me to a different place and um, definitely gives me that emotional that emotional feeling. Um, I've never seen anything like this. This is very, it's very uh, industrial and uh, the color is just, um, it's just amazing. It's something I've never seen before. I'm really appreciative that I got to see something like this. As an artist myself, it's really inspiring. So uh, I'm glad I got to meet you. Thank you so much. Definitely. Appreciate it, Dominic. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.